Hey, hey guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. All right, this is what everybody's been asking for is the six star Namor gameplay. Uh, guys, first let me say thank you so much for the support, the love, the comments, the subscriptions, the likes. Guys, this thing blew up. This this channel blew up over the last few days, and, and I just need to personally say thank you. I appreciate it so much. I'm trying to respond to every comment that comes my way. I truly appreciate, and, and I, guys, you have really humbled me. You have truly, truly humbled me. I can't thank you enough. Um, we do have a little bit of a shout out. Uh, we had someone in game message me and asked if I would give them a shout out. And I told them, you bet. I am, I am all about that. You do not have to worry about me being offended. Uh, to say anything about you or your channel, I, I, I guys, y'all are y'all are what's made this possible. So I'm going to give the shout out to Travis Sear, and he is in the Alliance PPTR, which is Lord of the Seven Seas. Or no, that is his. <laughs> I butchered that, didn't I, guys? Well, he's going to get more of a shout out than than he was thinking. Um, Pound the Rock is the Alliance, and that is Travis Sear. So, once again, guys, thank you for the comments. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. We do a little bit of variant, a little bit of uh, Road to uh, Realm of Legends. I swear one, guys, one day, guys, I will get a video done without messing something up. But you know what? I'm still learning, guys. Uh, so, we do a little bit of Labyrinth of Legends gameplay. We're, we're not really successful, but you could see how someone better than me could do it. Um, and then we go into a little bit of Act 6. So thank you guys so much once again for the comments. Please like, subscribe. You know, we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, so I just, I can't thank you all enough. Let's hop right into the gameplay, guys. All right, here are the six star stats. We have health at 22,470. We have attack at 1,993. He's a... Uh, Six star, rank 125. Um, special attacks. I think y'all know what those are. Synergy bonuses. The ones we really, you know, will be concerned with are the Kings of the World and then adding Magneto. Um, the Beach Bods wouldn't be too bad um, with the attack rating, but these actually stack. So Kings of the World and Beach Bods actually stack. Um, Moon Knight doesn't appear there's much going on there. The the 5% uh, bar par power could be something useful uh, in certain situations, but we'll be mainly focusing on the Kingpin, Black Panther, King Groot, and Magneto Synergy. So his signature ability is the Hydrokinetic Armor, which from what I have been reading about means that as long as he's on the attack, he takes no damage from, let's say, passive debuffs or active debuffs. So uh, that would tell me that would be Bleed, Limbo, um, Korgs, uh, Spiked Armor, uh, things like that. So it should be quite a while before we can get this six-star duped. So, you know, let's see how that works out first. Alrighty, let's uh, hop into a little bit of gameplay with him. All right, so the first part we're going to go into is the Realm of Legends. We're always going to do the Realm of Legends. That's kind of the standard. I know it's boring, but I thought it was pretty cool. So as you can see, the Synergy team is already loaded up. What we're going to try to do is get off three special threes in a row, two special twos, and then a special one. And here's how we're going to accomplish that. Hopefully we don't die, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to try to hit the special three before we get to the 30 outrages. I'm also going to play Winter Soldier as if he has a special three um, active. Because that's more realistic in my opinion. Because I want people to see what it would be like to really play him in a real setting. 
You do have to be careful once you get to 15 outrages of not holding block too long when you dash back. Uh, that has actually happened to me several times. Because you do activate Imperious Rex and you don't get the big damage that you normally would. So, what I'm going to do is bait out another special. And then start going for it. Okay. Here's our special three. This is number one. The next thing we're going to do is try to get into a mid combo and fire off another special three. Mid combo, fired off another special three. Now what we're going to try to do is stun him, use a heavy, and try to get our third special three. Because we are stacking up the damage when we do that. So, boom. Got it right there. Now, we could possibly get in another one, um, but we'll have to see. Got in a fourth one. That's four special threes in a row. Now we definitely want to get off a special two. Your special two should be unblockable and they do have a chance to stun. Look at the damage on that, guys. That is sick. Look at that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build up to the 15 charges and I'm going to finish him off right there. But that was slick. Four special threes. A lot of times you can't get the four special threes so you'll wind up getting two special twos. Probably what would be good to see is what is actually worth it to be honest with you. So let's do this. Hold, boom, get the last one in, and he is finished, guys. That's it. That's done. So, Winter Soldier down quickly. Oh, ha! I promise, guys, there will be one video where I don't mess up on something, <laughs> but that's okay. Hey. This is all fun, right guys? This is all about having fun. So, that was the Winter Soldier kill. Ooh, nice, nice health potions. So let's back out here. Um, so we did roughly, those those champs have health pools of roughly four to 500,000. So in roughly those that little deal, we got down about four to 500,000 health. I am actually going to take him into Labyrinth of Legends. And I want to try some gameplay against Red Hulk. It would be better if he was duped, and it would be better, you know, if, well, he was the next level up. But let's go ahead and see how he does against Red Hulk. Um, we may have to take a couple tries at this one, guys. Once again, going with the same tactics. Get as many special threes as I can. On Labyrinth of Legends, you probably want to try not to parry as much as possible so you can save your parries. And when you're actually fighting an opponent that can use a special three, it is much better, guys, to practice this with someone who can throw a special three because the labyrinth the road to the labyrinth really doesn't do that and I apologize if I'm getting tongue-tied I really don't do much of these rank up and gameplay videos to be honest with you okay so we want to make him throw a special oh come on he's not going to do it guys Okay. 
Anyways, we'll get to see how much damage it really takes off. That special three animation is a little bit long, but you know what? There was another one. Okay. That's about all we're going to get that time. We'll try again. We didn't quite get the damage we wanted out of that. We need to get more special threes than that because those do stack. that special one come on throw it throw it yeah there we go all right we're gonna get one let's see if we can get another I actually don't mind the special three animation because it gives my fingers a little bit of a break so go back in for the combo Get the other special three, perfect bonus. Now we've used up too many parries, so we won't be able to heavy to get that bar of power back, I don't think, but we're gonna give it a shot. Anyways, those are unblockable, so, ah. Well, we got melted down, guys. That wasn't very good. We'll run back in there. And give it another shot. But we'll try that one one more time. Uh, yes, I know I need to 100% Labyrinth of Legends. I did the first run through and I just hadn't wanted to do it again. I do have a 565A gone that would just wreck it. I just need to do it. So I know I may get some comments about that. Let's go ahead and get back in there. And once again, there is no boost here. So. I am really trying not to parry. It takes a little while getting used to his gameplay a little bit. Boy, this Hulk is not wanting to... Man, that or it's been so long since I've tried Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk. Could just be the noob in me. Okay. Throw your special, man. Come on. There we go. All right, special three. All right, we're gonna catch it mid combo. Yeah, heck yeah guys. All right, let's see if we can get the parry. This Red Hulk's been playing pretty defensive. Got it. Heck yeah, guys, look at that. Another special free animation. <laughs> Boom, got another one in there. 
And now we're going to try to get off a special two and just go ham on him. Look at that. Ah. Got intercepted, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Look at those. Look at that. So he's down to 75%, and that was one go through. Let's see how far we can get, guys. The only bummer is we are quite a way through the enraging timer. If you had a 565 or, you know, a six star one that was a little more ranked up, I think that would be better. Man, he does not want to throw that special. Come on, throw the special. Throw one more. Throw one more. Come on. Now we got to catch it mid combo. Let's see what we can do. I think the damage cap is about 50k for Labyrinth of Legend. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Too much talking. But. As you can see, I think he would be a good Labyrinth of Legends. It, it takes a little while. See, we knocked him down, what was that? Over 400,000 in health. And had I actually played, you know, actually good, we probably could have got him, you know, down to 500,000. We probably could have beat him before it finished up. So, I just haven't done the Labyrinth of Legends thing in so long that, that I apologize. Um, let's go into a little bit of... Um, variant. Let's take him into variant. The Ultron's assault, and let's go to. Let's see if villain revealed is the one we want to take. Okay, we can't have King Groot, so we're gonna throw in that. That'll work. So this is the buffet node. Let's go ahead and take it. And see how we do. I do believe if Namor was duped, we could take on that next Mephisto and not take any damage while attacking into his incinerate. Guys, with it, we're not even going to get past. We're not even going to. The damage is. Okay. Let's do this. Get our special three off. Some people think there's two lines of thinking, and I think it's this needs more testing, whether the special two, after you get a couple special threes in, is better, or whether to go for the next one. I mean, we look at that. Look at that, guys. He wrecked X-23. Let's go ahead and go into Mephisto. I don't. I don't think this is, we're going to lose a little bit of health. Yeah, we're ticking away at some health. If you could get that guy duped, oh my gosh, guys. 
I'll tell you what we are going to try this time, though. We are actually going to try when it gets to 15. Try the back up and hold block. Okay. We're just taking too much aura of incineration damage, guys. Yeah. Getting a little regen in there, but... You know, once you get him duped, he's going to melt down Mephisto. Just melting down, because you won't be taking any damage from that. So, but as you can see, he melts down the opponent's health pretty good uh, let's lastly let's go into uh, let's go into a little axe 6.1 and see how we do here Okay, so you can't use the same type of special twice in a row. I don't think that'll be a problem. That was pathetic. Once again, guys, I don't really edit these videos, so what you see is what you get, guys. I'm not trying to make it look pretty because I want people to see real gameplay. And I will never claim to be the best player at this game. Sorry, I was trying to back up and not use my block there. So we'll use the special three, then go right into a special two, I think. So we don't activate the Hurt Locker. Boom, look at that, guys. Down. If I hadn't have messed up, that would have been a very, very clean kill. Um, alrighty. I do believe that that is it. Um, Alright, guys. That was the gameplay of the six-star Namor. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more, if you'd like to see something else. I tried to get a little bit of everything in there. Um, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. I will try to get to any comments or any questions that are asked. Um, just thank you so much. Uh, th this, this MCOC community is great, and I am having so much fun doing this. And for everybody who tells me, thank you for being real, and uh, you seem like a nice guy, uh, guys... Um, that, that humbles me. I, I really do appreciate it. I really do try to be uh, authentic. And if I mess up, I mess up. And you guys are going to see it and get a kick out of it. You know? So thank you guys so much. You have a blessed, blessed day. Peace.